I gotta make a point here. These Walmart cookies actually just taste like chalk. I mean, the frosting is good, but the cookies taste like chalk. And speaking of things that taste like chalk, it's the taste in your mouth after you've spent $60 on an Ash Blossom, which is going to be a mandatory staple in the upcoming metagame. So, yes, we're comparing the 250 cookies. Actually, I think these are like $3 for like 10 of these, the chalk cookies, to a $60 Ash Blossom. <laughs> we did it. Enjoy your discussion video on Ash Blossom being a staple. Mm -mm. You know it. <laughs> God, I'm horrible. Some Yugi tubers beat around the bush, others get straight to the point. And I'm gonna be honest with you guys, if you're planning on playing competitively in the next few months, you're gonna need Ash Blossoms. Here's the reality of the situation. You're gonna have to understand that if you Ash Blossom on Machine Dupe, well, first off, if Resort's in play, you're not spiraling, or you're not Ash Blossoming the double helix. So, we go after the next best card. But Robbie, what if my opponent has double machine do? Uh. Then I'm going to tell you the exact same thing I've told everyone that has made that exact same point to me. Your opponent is just better than you are. Here's the thing, though. I've been thinking about it more and more as time has been going on here, and Sure, Ash Blossom's $60, but if you're playing competitively, it's it's a rough $180 to have to invest, but really a situation, if you want to stand a chance against half of this metagame, being able to, as I'm making this video, you can currently Ash Blossom Wavering Eyes. I've heard arguments for both sides. I've seen no confirmation on it. Ask your head judge for your regionals, depending on the situation. I'm, so right now I'm under the assumption that you can because it doesn't affect that attempts to add. So, take that for what it's worth. So, Pendulum Magicians, they're playing Wavering Eyes, congratulations. The thing that horrifies me about the next format is the Pendulum Mirrors. If I'm sitting here, I'm like, oh man, I want to play Pendulum Magicians. I'm going to lose to Wavering Eyes. Well, everyone makes the argument that Wavering Eyes doesn't hurt the deck. But I mean, I clear out your pendulum scales, you resolve whatever you're going to lose. I mean, losing a purple magi or purple poison with nothing on the field, turn one to a wavering eyes. Um, sure, it's all self-replacing, but I don't necessarily like that. Uh, the importance of clearing the pendulum scale and searching for another wavering eyes. Pretty gosh dang good, in my opinion. So, here's the thing. Ash Blossom stops wavering eyes. If you're planning on playing any sort of Pendulum variant, congratulations, we did it. Ash Blossom stops Terraforming. Terraforming is going to be one of those cards that's going to be played in two Draco. You can wait for your opponent's diagram to hit the field. you got to understand your opponent's deck thinning one card, and there's a potential that they can dead draw an already bad card already in the deck. So, that's something to consider. I mean, Terraforming is a three. Um, so the rotation is also a three. So, you gotta you got to make your call there. But Robbie, what if I just want to play two Ash Blossom? You can play two Ash Blossom. That's fine. But your odds of drawing it are lower, but the odds of you opening up multiples are slightly better. I mean, it is what it is. What else can we do with Ash Blossom? You can stop that tricks to Reincarnation. Trickster Reincarnation is an effect that does force the draw, so if your opponent does have Reincarnation on you, well, <laughs> you can Ash Blossom it, and you won't lose your entire hand. Now, that, that's definitely something to keep in mind, that Ash Blossom is more than this versatile, multi-purpose card. It it literally makes your shit-tastic matchups all the better. And I don't want to lose to Trix to Reincarnation. I, I'm not going to main deck Watt Upon or Leonidas for these matchups, because that's, that's not necessarily the best way to go about it. I mean, I'd rather just deploy Masterpiece in his territory and let him do his thing. You know, he's at least going to be immune to two of the three elements. So, there's that. So, you can also stop Flop Frog. 
from dumping one, I guess. Um, here's the thing, though. The importance of hand traps as the game is evolving, especially against Spiral. I mean, having the Ogre for the Field Spell, having the Ash Blossom for the Machine Duke. I mean, you, you can argue at which point you want to stop. I mean, you can attempt to stop the Field Spell uh, from adding, but I mean... What are, what are we going to do? I mean, everything has Spiral in its name. I mean, literally, once a quick fix rolls, it rolls. I'd rather just hold it for the machine dupe, um, and unless they have the double summon to continue on with their play. I'm not too super worried about what's going to actually happen in that game state. Ash Blossom, the more I think about it, it just seems like an all-around better card. I mean, if you're going to, you know, this channel being designed, I mean, super competitive players aren't going to listen to my opinion. Some of them might, you know, maybe some, maybe someone comes home and they're like, oh man, you know, like, I'm curious to know what Robbie's thinking today. You know, in the theory in my mind at the moment, Ash Blossom is a staple going into next format. And I hate to say that to the people that are, you know, in, in the middle ground that are budget players. You know, they're like, I want a top regional. You need to get the resources and it, it's sad that Ash Blossom is so expensive for literally no more than the card does. I mean, what was it? The card stops 1,700 cards in the current game of Yu-Gi-Oh! I believe that was the number the last time I saw it. I, it might have gone up. It might have gone down. Really, the situation is you have a card that exists that stops... It's nice to know that you, you have a card that you can pick up now. It's still going to be relevant for months to come. I mean, stopping a Magni Bullet um, spell from resolve adding. Stopping Wavering Eyes from adding. I mean, it all depends on what corridor you're going down for what purpose Ash Blossom is going to have for you. Like I said, being able to stop Wavering Eyes is pretty good. Being able to stop Machine Dupes Resolution, pretty good. Um, you should also make sure, I wasn't going to talk about Ghost Ogre in this video, but I can't, I can't physically, uh, to the comments, gonna be like, well, if you want me to have Ash Blossom, you should get me Ash Blossom, they're only 60 bucks a piece, Robbie, you can afford it. All of my friends, I have two sets of Ash Blossoms, one for me, one for my friend that helps me sort cards all the time, because I, really situation, if you want to play test all the time, you need to have two sets. You need someone as good as you are. Really situation. Save up for Ash Blossoms if you don't have them. Now, you can play Ghost Ogre, but honestly I think, depending on how the format goes, I'm thinking we're going to be on three Ogre, three Ash Blossom, and maybe Maxi on the side. Oh god, that's cringeworthy to say. Especially, the only deck that's really going to special summon is fucking Spiral, and that's not even until October. I mean, like, the deck's just gonna combo out, go, combo out, roll. There's that, I mean, every other deck before that, I mean, what, you get one Pendulum Summon on <laughs> any Pendulum deck, and then whatever extender play that they would do outside of that, moving up with their play. So, example, Pendulum Summon, and then your Xyz, um, your Synchro, whatever you're going to make is your follow-up play. I mean, unless there's a Decode Talker there, then you're gonna roll out possible you'll have the potential for two more it doesn't necessarily mean you're going to roll into it if you're playing metaphor Dracula, i mean you'll have your fusion for the turn um it might get stopped but i mean the reality the situation if you're going to pendulum summon resolution um other things like that it's really dependent and i mean if your opponent maxes you before you pendulum summon well you know you probably just might pass on the pendulum summon it just kind of depends so there's that um ogre against the pendulum decks doesn't seem too f good Actually, it seems pretty bad, but, I mean, being able to ogre the activation of the uh, Metal Foes pop isn't terrible. You know what else stops that? Ash Blossom. But the scale stays. <laughs> so, there's that. But being able to ogre, that's pretty good. Um, what else does ogre actually hit right now? Spirals. <laughs> I'm putting too much stock in spirals right now. I mean, if you kill Sleeper, you're just good. But if there's not a resort face-up on the field, well, you know... Is that, I mean, Paleo, nothing too spectacular. Uh, ogre on a hanger is ass, 
because they're already going to get the surge. Um, so there's no real reason to that. I mean, Ash Blossom stops the hangar. Ogre doesn't. You know, Ogre's your five cent budget option, which isn't even budget because they're like ten dollars a piece at the moment, which is really insane when you think about it. This is the bad thing for new players coming into the game. You guys, you miss your chances to pick up cards, and it hurts you as a player, or players can't afford it. You know, players that are on a budget right now, or recently just went on a budget, you, you missed a window to pick up Ash Blossoms at under 50, and I know a lot of people can't afford that, shit in one hand, hope in the other. You know, if you had been here half a year ago, you could have picked up Ogres at $3 a piece. Now they're more than 100% doubled in price. It's like actually 200% doubled to $10 from like 3 to 4 depending on the situation. I can't math. Really the situation, though. I think Ash Blossom is going to be a mandatory staple. I think some people might not main it depending on where the progress of the format goes. But for the current predictions that we have... And what I'm thinking, having a card that can stop Hanger, Trickster Reincarnation, Resolution, Add Effects, Pendulum Call, Metal Foe Searches, Terraforming, Swap Frog, you know, these all Spirals, Machine Dupe, you know, these are all cards and considerations that people, you need to factor for. And Unfortunately, if you're going to a regional and it's your intent to top, you're probably not going to do it unless you're playing Chainburn. Because um, you, then you won't need Ash Blossoms. But your best matchup that you just had actually just isn't there anymore, which was Zoo. So I don't know how you're going to do that one, because most of the decks are just going to burn through all their advantage now. And then you're just going to be like, why did I choose this life? But I mean, card of mine is still three. So... Card of mine is, eh, 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 eh. you know what stops that? Ash Blossom. Da 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 da. So that's all I've got to say for this video. I think Ash Blossom is going to be a staple that you need for competitive play, or else you're going to be massively hindered and behind on the game state. Now, that doesn't mean you should stop playing Yu Gi Oh! for three months, it's just when you're losing to certain cards because you didn't have Ash Blossom. But Robbie, how does Ash Blossom stop Masterpiece? You stop the terraforming, which hits the diagram, which gets Masterpiece, which all gets stopped by Ash Blossom. You guys, you guys see my flow chart? Start here, do, 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 do. and then we end over here on the gold shirt. So, all right guys, what do you think? Do you think Ash Blossom's a mandatory staple, or am I just trying to get people to spend $180 for no real reason, but, Get some Ash Blossoms if you're planning on playing Yu-Gi-Oh! in the fall here at a regional. If not, if you're just going to locals, this video has nothing to do with you. <laughs> Alright guys, later. The ride never ends, guys. Make sure you enable those notifications to get the latest videos that are being posted on this channel. Make sure you guys check out Van Cole 40 for my Cardfight Vanguard channel. And join me and House of Champions on the Zodiac Duelist TV Twitch stream. I will be interacting with our audiences. And please check out No Limit Gaming and LGTCG.com for the cheapest trading cards on the market. Thanks for watching, guys, and please have a good day.